If you think as a kid, when was the only other time in your life that there was an entity you spoke to that seemed to have good advice and know everything about everything? Your parents. Yeah. Your parents. Yeah. Right. And so, and then there's a point at which when we're interacting with our parents, we kind of realize they don't know everything about everything. We start to kind of lose faith in that. But then suddenly you have this new entity that for, especially for children uh, and even just teenagers or even just young people, where you are starting to talk to an entity that seems to know everything about everything. What do you do in that circumstance? You start to trust it on all other topics. You feel more intimate with it. When, you know, a good test for what you have attachment to is like when you come home from a good day or a bad day. Who do you want to call? Who's that person that you want to share what happened today with? That's attachment. Hmm. And AI will increasingly, for many people, be that attachment figure. And that will screw up a lot of people's psychological development if we don't know how to protect it. In so many ways, AI is like a rite of passage that is forcing us to look at the mirror and see what are the things that we need to protect, that we need language for and clarity about.